Welcome to Bunex Investment Group, Free Beginners Course. My name is Sydney and I'll be your host. Bunex Investment Group is registered under the Companies Act in Zimbabwe and has been in operation since 2019. We trade our funds, people's funds in forex and local stocks. We also trade for prop firms and just started in real estate. I started trading in 2010 with several failures but became profitable around 2015. So be rest assured that you are in the hands of someone who has been in this business for quite a while. So here's the proof of experience. Why do we need proof of experience? The forex industry has been flogged with many trading gurus, many of them being fake ones. Third party proof is essential for you to see if someone really trades and make a profit. So the next slide has my personal recent FTMO trade record and this was also shown on our YouTube channel. So if you are new to Bunex Investment Group, we have a YouTube channel where we share several trading strategies as well as a glimpse of the institutional market maker method. So as we all know that FTMO is a funding company, it's a prop firm that gives funding to traders who are serious and who has track record that they can trade and earn a profit. So within this, you actually start on the challenge account whereby they give you the account of the amount that you have requested and then trade and make 10% of that particular balance and then move over to the evaluation stage. After passing those two steps, you will now be awarded an account that uh, after you trade it, uh, any profit that you earn, you keep 80% of that. So this is uh, the challenge equity curve. As we can see, it actually started at this point, a small drawdown into loss, and then we ended up to the 10% target, which is 5,000. In this case, the account size was actually $50,000. Then this is uh, the FTMO verification. Equity curve, it actually started by losing uh, this much. And then after that, we actually reached it to the 5% target. And the account was also 50000 So the starting debt was 17 January 2022. And the ending debt was... Um, around uh, 17 March 2022 but fair enough we managed to pass this uh, as you can see on uh, 31 January 2022 so it was uh, a matter of 10 days the required minimum trading days so this is basically not to brag or to boss around but to show proof of experience mm -hmm. that me as your host I know something about trading so here's the course outline for the beginner's course as well as the advanced course. So in this beginner's course, we are going to talk about the market maker method. It's basically going to be an introduction to this type of trading system. Then we are going to talk about the market manipulation, the market maker indicators, then introduction to level counting, then an introduction to order blocks. So these two are going to be a glimpse of the full uh, information that we'll actually talk about in the advanced course. So in the advanced course, we'll talk about the market analysis steps, right? What do you do each and every time you approach or each and every time you are given any tradable asset? Then market timing, it's not always uh, uh, conducive for you to be taking trades any time of the day, but there are certain times that you should focus on. Then we will talk about the bias determination, right? This is now in-depth of levels and resets concepts. Then an in-depth of the order blocks and order flow. Then four, we'll talk about the bias determination, part B, where we'll actually review the EMA, exponential moving average simplification theory. Then uh, five, we'll talk about the sacred market pattern. The only pattern that you should be looking at for on the charts and the, the three types of trades entry criteria of those trades we have criteria for you to actually reach a verdict of taking a trade 
than the entry confirmations and exits. The risk management, scaling in your trades, that is now a method of staking on your positions. How do you actually stack more positions on your initial trade? Then the trading psychology, which is actually one of the most important topics than funded account trading. This is now for those who do not have funding and who looks to trade for prop firms. So basically, this is what will actually come in these two courses. So for now, we are going to go with the beginner's course. And if you want to advance your knowledge, you will need to purchase the advanced course for $85. So before we delve into our first part, here are the services we offer. We offer trading alerts in form of signals where you actually get three to six signals per week, but it's not always or it's not all weeks that will offer us such amount of signals. There are some weeks whereby we will need to stay or to sit on our hands. Then we'll offer one-on-one -on -one training of the institutional market maker method and then the advanced trading course that actually goes for $85 and then real estate investment. So this is actually for local participants who are in Zimbabwe. So the first topic on our course outline for this course is introduction to market maker method. We've said our method is called the institutional market maker method, right? So what is that? The Forex market is very easy to access right that if anyone with an internet connection a device and an account can participate in the world market so this world market mimics a jungle by that we mean it looks like a jungle where there are predators that feeds on others there is actually a food chain within the world market and these predators are powerful serious and money-minded right so if you are going into the markets, what speech are you within the food chain? Are you going to be a predator? Are you going to be the one that is going to supply food within that chain? So these predators are the one we call the market makers. So market makers include banks, hedge funds, and several big financial institutions. So we need to talk about the forex market as well to actually have a consolidated definition of the market maker method so the forex market is a zero-sum game right by that we mean for every forex trader that makes a profit another trader has to lose an equivalent amount so if you made fifty dollars of a trade someone else lost fifty dollars so with this fact for market makers to make money, someone has to lose. And that someone is the retail traders, which is you and me. So this mismatch is further exploited by a complete lack of transparency in the Forex market. So why are we seeing there is lack of transparency in the Forex market? There is no trading flow, no accurate measure of open volume like in stocks, or other tradable assets and simply no way to tell how the institutional traders are positioned we don't have information as retail traders as they have ours they can see how many contracts are going long how many contracts are going short but we as retail traders we don't have such information but the good news is this market manipulation leaves predictable distinguishable clues in its work Interpreting these behaviors correctly can put you on the right side of the trade with consistency and accuracy unheard of in the trading business. So what you need to do is actually to know these distinguishable clues or predictable patterns that are left behind by the market makers for you to actually see them in foresight. The next thing is market manipulation. Others will actually tell you that this doesn't exist in the forex market, but we are going to tell you otherwise. They may say the forex market is too big to be manipulated, but as said earlier, there is a small elite group of traders that do in fact control how 
the market will play out on each and every given day. So these manipulations are visible on the chart to the trained eye. If you can see and understand how the market moves, you would see that there is this is a period of manipulation and you can actually use that to your advantage. Maybe it will actually show you that it's not the right time to trade the market. It's not the right time to take a trade. Wait for a while until the dust settles. So once you see these behaviors and understand what they mean, you will be able to trade like a market maker, which is basically what everyone wishes for. So what does the manipulation or how does the manipulation is done on the, on the, on the charts? So they do so by inducing traders to take positions. Market makers needs you to open trades because if you do not have any open trade on your account, your account is of no use to them. So they need you to open a trade. How do they do that? They present common patterns in the Forex world. We have dodges, we have bearish engulfing, bullish engulfing. If they present that, they know that they are traders who are going to be convinced to take positions. So they will actually present them on any part of the chart and induce you to take a position. So if you know the market manipulation, you would know the right time, not the right time to take a position and the time not to take anything. So this is achieved by a range of price movements to trick traders into taking a position in a given direction, but then reversing it again. I'm sure if you have been in the Forex market, you've, you've seen that sometimes when you buy, the market sells, and sometimes when, the market, when you sell, the market buys. You would think that they're actually watching you. The truth is, they are definitely watching you. Traders have the same tendency. And with the billions of traders on this planet, they have the same things that they look for. So they also create panic and fear to induce traders to become emotional and think irrationally. Sometimes you are in the rightful market maker context. You are in the rightful market maker trend. But they induce or issue spiky candles in the negative direction of the market maker trend. To actually make you become emotional and think irrational and probably close your trade. Since they can see our, 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 our open contracts, they can also see our stop losses and our check profits. Therefore, they are able to actually perform what we call cyclic trading to hit stops and clear the board. Hitting stops will only issue more liquidity within the markets, which is actually a way of putting money on the table for them. So these are the things that market makers do. So other things that they do is they use fundamentals to actually uh, uh, put the market in range or put the market in an unpredictable state. Like right now, during the recording of this course, there is a Ukraine and uh, against Russia uh, tensions and that is being used to actually kill most of um, the past trends. There's no proper trends. Setups are looking are actually scarce and uh, it's actually a confusing market. So that is what they do. So the inducement or the induction technique that we have talked about, as you can see in this way, right? The market was actually in a choppiness, right? There were equal tops and equal bottoms, and the market went up very fast. So this was actually done to induce, right? Inducement was done to convince traders to take longs in this case. Since this candle was very fast, as you can see, it started at this point. Mind you, it's an M15 candlestick and ended at this point. It was a very fast candlestick that actually convinced traders that the market is now going up. So probably there were orders that were taken here, 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 going up, right? After that, we can see the market coming back right to the starting point. And probably someone who took along at this point was actually hit stops. 
So this point is something that could have been taken if you knew the market maker trend. Probably you were going to take it as a peak. They came back and cleared the board and then later went up. So this is the induction technique. Market rise and immediate reversal induce and clear technique. So how do we use these manipulations in our trading? Of course, we may talk about uh, these manipulations over and over again, but if we don't know how it's actually used in the markets, it will be of no use to us. So even though market makers have a number of tools at their disposal, they have some restrictions imposed on them from the outside authorities. So these outside authorities include the International Monetary Fund, which restricts their ability to move price to a general range so as to avoid a collapse of the market. So that is done to actually avoid collapse, uh, the market collapsing due to their influence. So this generally limits them to trading to an average daily range, which involves moves as much as 200 pips per day in most pairs. So after they clock these determined average daily ranges, they need to actually pull off or close their positions, which will actually lead to the market consolidating. What do we mean? If a market makers buys a certain currency pair, we usually see the market going up, right? Like that. And then after going up, they reach the determined average daily range. They need to close some position and that will result in probably the market, market pulling back or consolidating. So they do not have unlimited equity. They don't have uh, uh, infinite pockets. So it is necessary for them to close positions and regain balance periodically. So these facts uh, gives us a repeated cycle and uh, always prints on the charts over and over again. And this is the basis of our trading strategy that utilizes market maker impulses or levels. So this is the end of our first lecture in the beginner's course. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about the market maker indicators and have the introduction to levels counting. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.